Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are having serious problems with copper and that starts right over here. We don't have enough coming in. Uh, we can tap a tiny bit more over here, but we need more copper in our factory uh, because even though the line here is mostly full and it looks really full there, we are taking off a lot over here and that's going straight into building stuff for nuclear uh, power when we get there. Uh, the rest is going down here and we've got a tiny bit eaten by the batteries, of course, but a lot of it is also being eaten by these guys and the red circuits, which are over here. Uh, we got all of that coming in, um, though that's being prevented from working a lot by the lack of green circuits. And most of that is, wow, there's almost no iron coming into green circuits. So there are a couple of spots. This guy is not connected and this can be... Um, mind, but I think we're going to have to get some serious resources soon. However, since we are almost done with the setup for yellow science, we're going to go ahead and finish that. So let's go ahead and get this going on here and then rotate this and get a nice, let's go in map mode so we don't trip over ourselves doing this thing. There we go. Nice. A nice corner there to walk around. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, we're barely, barely getting any resources. So that's something we're going to definitely want to sort out. Let's go ahead and we can probably delete some of these trees, even though they're really pretty. But I do want to leave a couple on the outside. Um, yeah, and with that, let's just work on yellow science, which we're going to need 14 assemblers, but everything else is already made because we have the blue circuits and the low density structures and also the engine units. So let's see, 14, should we put them here? The engine units are, are way down there. I'm wondering, but I kind of like to put them opposite of purple science. So let's go ahead and just do them right up here. Now let's see how many spaces away these guys are from the road. Uh, or the sidewalk, whatever we were gonna, we're going to call this thing. Let's see, three, four, five, six, wait, wait, hold on. All right, two assemblers plus one, so seven spaces. <laughs> All right, let's see, we have one, there we go, and then the assembler can go there. All right, nice. So we need 14 of these. Let's see, I don't think we can fit them here, but we can try. So this is going to be making yellow science. And we'll have two belts coming in on one side and then one belt coming in this way. Let's see, look at these going on like this. Oh, dear me. Okay, help. Ah, here. This is a great example of a lack of charging spaces. All of these bots hanging around are waiting to charge. And they're all kind of going in there. They've been doing construction jobs, bringing the concrete over, and then they're just going to kind of hang out. But they would charge a lot faster if we had a couple of robo ports here. Now, since this is not a permanent thing, this is like a one-time deal, they're okay. But if you have regular deliveries of stuff, it is not ideal to leave them that way. All right, we have some things that are wanted. These are, what are these? What are we asking for here? Over here? What is this? Oh, chests. All right, requester chests, right. There's one there. And then over here, we are looking for buffer chests. All right, the, so these are things that could get recycled and such like that. But we're going to get those chests very shortly because the chests are part of the logistics system research that we're going to do right here. This is going to be the very next research we do. So... Um, all right, we want to get inserters in here, in, in, let's copy that one, copy, paste, and also this, this, and outputs, yes, boom. All right, so that's going to be our pattern. Let's just copy this and see, so that's four, uh, approximately six, so we're going to need to be back over here. So let's just align this here. Go to four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Okay, we're good. Now then, this, let's just make sure all of this is in the construction zone, so we're really good on that. Let's go ahead and delete this. And then uh, we need to take a belt to carry the science back to uh, the world. Let's just go ahead and do something like this. 
And that will carry it back, but we need to get our belts coming in first. So let's see. We can do... I think we can do this thing. Our first belt is here. One, two. Go there. And the second one goes there. And then I think we have the red belt. This has kind of been our pattern here to get things across. And then we'll do a thing like that. All right. And these guys can just go up like this. Nice. Okay. So we need a number of items here for yellow science. Let's just check again. Blue circuits, flying robot frames, and low density structures. Now, the flying robot frames aren't on the bus as per se. So I think we'll take these this off. I should have looked at that before I built these things. I think what we're going to do is just put them right here. We're going to put it on a parallel belt with this. Because right now we still don't have any requester chests. So we still have to put these belts out here. Okay. Get that one this way. All right. Where are the frames? Darn. Where are they? Come on. Frames. Ah, here they are. The flying robot frames are actually right here. We can bring them this way, actually. That's okay. And it's not a bad journey for them. They just need to duck the power poles and they're good. Like this. We could make more use of um, undergroundies, but I just wanted that to be a tiny bit decorative there. Now, I do want to have the science belt coming into science. So how far down do we need to go for that? This might be a tiny bit messy. Oh boy, is this going to be messy. Okay, so here's the science belt, actually. So that needs to come this way. And that will end up there. And that's going to be for our purple and gold science coming down. So let's build this belt as best we can. Oh, this is nice. It lines this, this left uh, or right edge there. Now, normally I build the science a lot more compact, being more close together. But in this playthrough, heck, that's what happens. So that's what we're going to go with. So let's see what we're going to do with this. This is the flying robot frames coming out. So we'll do it this way. So we're doing kind of a minibus-ish kind of thing here. But as long as it works, right? There we're using um, these guys for length, not for any other reason. Because this is not going to supply a whole lot of uh, material. Now this is a tricky kind of a thingy. But we can manage it, it's okay. Now normally, this is probably one of the worst places you can build this. Because we're going to have a huge belt long full of these guys over here. I think if I were to build it next time, I would have moved the flying robot frames above this or maybe even put them right next to the yellows. Uh, we could move it around. I don't really care that much though, so we don't need to. Um, yeah, it's it's. Pro I usually put them all together, but I also wanted to demonstrate you can do this. Even if there's crazy landscape, you can definitely do this with your factory. So those are coming in. We just need some power getting in here, which is, there we go. All right, so the rest of this needs blue circuits, which are going to come over here. Just need to extend that bus line, as well as the low density structures coming in over here. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. These go here. Ish. Yeah, good. There we go. All right, and these guys go out here. Nice. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Nice. All right. Perfect. So these guys are going to get to go in here. And then the science is going to come out here. Now, on the opposite side, we're going to have our purple science. But this is so exciting. Oh, my God. We're going to get stuff and things and all the bits and pieces. So, oh, what happened here? Hello. Oh, we had a bad, a bad thing happen. Hello. Oh, tree. Okay. Tree got in the way. So there we go. 
getting those flying robot frames. So this should be it. I believe we have enough stuff. We do have the processing units. We're just waiting for those frames. All right, cool. We can let that do its thing now. And now, oh, let's set up the science. I really want this science. So let's get it. Where did it go? There it is. Nice. Start research on this. Yes, logistic systems. Now, purple science is definitely on our menu next, but we don't even have enough supplies to supply this. So we're going to have to do resource gathering in the next little bit. So, okay, let's follow this science belt down. Yeah, it's so funny how every factory turns out slightly different. And this is not the way I would have imagined this. I'll just say it that way. But, eh, it happens. It's okay. It works. I want to clear up some of these things that are blocking us because walking on the path is kind of an important thing and it's nice to have good um yeah good stuff going on there okay so let's see we really 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 would like to change the science up to be a little bit different i think we're going to all right we're going to cut off the science for now no 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 wait wait we need to do something else before we do that though I think we need to get this research done. How many how many science packs does this need? 500. Oh, that's a lot. All right. All right. This is going to be a slog. But what we can do is this. We can put a belt in the center here for all of the labs to get yellow science. And then we'll just let them use this belt. I think that's going to be the best idea here for this stuff. Power pole, naughty. Okay, good. I don't know if we'll actually need this many. Uh, all right, so what do we want to do here for inserters? Let's do this and that. Go, this and that. And how are we going to power this? We could look at substations. Do we have any? We have one here. Yeah, they're a tiny bit too big. And I don't think we actually need them. I think we just need proper power poles and that's it. So let's just copy. I'm just going to copy this segment so that we can paste it down and um, stuff will happen. That needs to go away. This can go there. Nice, nice. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right. And the bots will fill these in and life will be better and all that stuff. Yeah. And here. Actually there and here too. There we go. And then we'll just use the power pole here. That lab is not meant to be functional. Oh my god, here it comes. Oh, hello, yellow science. How you doing? You doing good? I think you're doing great. You look great. You look great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So things have happened. Stuff exists. Life is better. Oh yes. Alright, let's go ahead and move this thing we can't oh come on behave yourself please there we are and this needs to move go shoo excuse me all right perfect and now the other thing that we can do is get rid of all of this stuff which oh we just <laughs> we, we did things with it was fine um yeah let's we have nanobots off which is fantastic i want to get rid of all this though because this is the old military stuff that we definitely no longer need and that can be completely completely removed here ah oh, i need to take a picture of this this is so great this um little curvy curvy neat thing there something that i don't often do i uh Kind of a, it's interesting the way you like think of different things at different times. Okay, so this belt is green circuits and there is there are zero green circuits. Like zero, zero. This is not good. We need the, that is an iron thing. So we are severely, severely running out of iron. I think what I'm going to do is I want to get, let's see, let's turn this guy around and... Get that going this way. Okay, that's something. That's an extra thing of throughput right there. That can go. 
All right, go around here. Get rid of this. Uh, delete that for now. Now that's interesting. Why is this? Oh no! Wow. Oh, bad. That is just bad. Come on. Okay, so that one is going to go into green circuits. And that's a good thing. Now then, where are we going to get stuff? Hmm. This way, we already have a lot of resources visible. But I'm tempted to go this way, into the unknown, into Biterland. Hmm. Uh, we could start that as well. This is nice. We have 13 million iron here. Um, and I, we could just bring this in right there, and that is no problem. I think it might be worth making a train station for this right here, so that we can just bring it in. Wow, these cliffs are just, yeah, not, they're not conducive to trains, but could be okay. This is only 2 million copper, so I'm tempted to just build over it. Yeah, and it's a small patch anyway. Yeah, I think we're going to build over that. Now this, I'm thinking of actually just making a short shuttle train. But we should probably do a proper train stop here. Uh, just because, you know, we're going to have to bring in stuff from way further afield at some point. Maybe even more than that. What do we got here? We have the brick... Oh, whoopsies. Brick making. And the stone is, yeah, drying up very much there, as you see. Okay. Wow. Oh, the maintenance. The maintenance. There's a lot going on here, that's for sure. Let's see if we can improve that copper just a tiny bit. And then we'll work on these uh, train stations and stuff. Okay, we're at copper now. Let's put down a few more miners. And we'll share the belts a tiny bit better. Oopsies. Let's get this. Good. Oh no. Bad, bad. We need to use our proper power poles now that we have them. Alrighty. Let's get rid of this and some of these other uh, things. These can be later recycled once we get the logistics system organized. Oh my goodness. We have some meowing going on. I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay. There we go. There we are. Okay, so this, we really want this to go output priority to the right, and then anything left will go this way. This one is already dedicated to green circuits, so it should be just fine. Uh, and see, we're already getting a better throughput of stuff. Oh my goodness, my cat is... Um, she recently arrived, my mom brought her back, and uh, she's she has opinions about the things. All the things and all the stuff. Okay, so we have quite a lot to do here in terms of train stationing. I'm reluctant to remove these cliffs. They're actually kind of cool. So I'm thinking we do need the lines to come in this way. So we could actually have this train station over here. Let's go and get our train supplies. That is one thing that I forgot to put up. Oh my gosh. I probably need to make, oh, you know what we need to make is a, let's get the nature out of here and let us make a beautiful concreted thingy majingy. Get this. There we go. Let's go in map mode to get this done. All right. And just paste this all the way down right over here. And then one to the left, of course, as well. Oops, I'll, I'll actually rotate it to be under that belt. Okay, so it looks like it's not going to destroy any cliffs, and that's just fine. Um, but we want to paint this this away. Uh, oh, that's actually perfect, because we want to go around this little... I don't know, that looks, looks kind of cool. That's like maybe some ship parts fell down there and kind of... Yeah. Okay. So hopefully we're going to get stuff going and it'll be faster for us. To oh, wow. This pushed us very far. <laughs> oh, my God. It'll be a tiny bit of a journey for our uh, our little robots, but it's okay. We want to have this looking pretty darn nice. 
right now then. Also, we want to check on our coal. I think it's fine. 8.4 million left still. We have only one miner out. That's perfect. That's really good. Okay, let's go shopping for train supplies. We had a we had a little chest here. Yes, good, good. And I want to pick up the signals in here. We want to get train stations, the trains, chain signals. I don't think I see any rails so let's ask for rails from the world we want to have probably let's get like 200 rails or something for now sure and then I think I want signals maybe maybe yeah that'll do and then of course chain signals you also need 50 well, let's just request like, I don't know, 30 or something. All right. That is looking good. We need chests to build this. Um, stack inserters we have. Of course, this is going to be in our robot building zone. Um, so we're, they're going to build most of this. We just want to make sure that we have the basic supplies so that we can actually get this going. Wow. All of this iron ore has completely tapped out. Ugh, not good. No more concrete, sad times. Now, I feel like I should, I could, no, I should. The word is should, and we will destroy these cliffs very carefully. Let's see. There we go, just to have a nice break in the cliffs there. Let's get our uh, roboports down here as well. Nice. We want to have a nice line of uh, power poles going. Okay, hello. Ah, this is connect that, that this is an interesting problem. If you do this one, it can't connect because there are actually too many power poles connecting. So we're going to delete some of those power poles. They aren't needed to connect there at all. Let's just take this one up. Oopsies. Hello. There we go. Okay, there we go. And we'll just put that one there. And we'll connect that up, up in the base when we can. And then we can remove these power poles because they're just clutter, basically. Uh, if we do a whitelist of crappy power poles, we can just do this. And then put in the long distance power poles instead. Because I believe, I feel they look a lot better. Okay, let's take this one out here. Oh, we can connect just one. And we don't need hundreds of them. Alright, let's guess, get these guys out of the way as well. Anything that's not needed here is going to look a lot better if we destroy it uh, from here. Oh, there's a tiny bit of ore. How much is it? 84 and 51. No thanks. We're okay. So I do want to clear the trees from this walking area that we have. Because we are probably going to walk back and forth quite a bit. However, this is also our gateway for our belts to come down. So we'll just follow that as a, this is where the belts need to go. Let's get one going already. Oopsies. And um, let's see, how do we want to get through here? This looks very problematic, doesn't it? We can do this. Yes, good, good. All right, and then through here. This is going to be fun. Just like threading this through. I think it's going to be very entertaining. Um, let's see. How many lines of iron do we need? We need right now. Let's see. One, two, three, and a bit. The bit feeds the concrete. So three and a bit. So we'll try to get a little mini bus to have three and a bit. So that's one, two, three. And then I'm going to get our nice little... <gasps> no! It's too short. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. No. All right. Well, this one will fit. We might have to have blue belts for the others. Oh, no. It doesn't fit there at all. Well, darn. Hmm. We may have to do something about that. We may. Do we have to clear out this cool cliff thing? Maybe. If we do, I kind of want to make use of this area. It looks really kind of rugged what if we get blue belts <laughs> this is like yeah oh we need purple signs for blue belts all right let's do one thing at a time then we could do it squiggly in here that would be okay okay 
Let's get... Let's delete these trees. No. We could do it on the side for now. Yeah, let's do it on the side. And then later we can route through uh, using our blue belts. Okay, KOS has gone mad. She's preserving the trees. I know, I know, I know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It will be fine later. Later fineness is just great. We like later fineness. There we go. Aha! See? Solution found. Hooray! Yes. Uh, okay. Now then. We're going to put our, our train station, though, to empty out this way. Oh, this is so exciting. We're building trains. Oh, this is so nice. All right. So we're going to design a train station. And let's just start with um, how we want the trains to go in and out of the system. I think we want to have an end point of here so trains can go out. Okay. This is probably going to seem really like meta planning and it is, but that's okay. It's good. So let's do our train tracks here. Oopsies there. Oh, do I have my nanobots here? Nanobots, hello. Oh, I have these guys. These guys, I definitely want logistics bots to always be in the trash. Zero, please. Go. That's inconvenient. I don't like that at all. That I have to, I can't just drop that in there, but oh well. Um, Right, what is next? Now, oh, low density structures also go in here. Hello. Down to zero. Thank you. And then these guys... Zero, please. Thank you. Um, science also is going to go in there as zeros. Ah, oh, there we go. Gosh. Sorry about all this planning, thinking stuffs, all this stuff. It's not... I was just trying to do one thing, I promise. Okay. Uh, nanobots. Yes. <laughs> no, where are they? Hello? Did I run out? I think I ran out. All right, let's walk into range and then we'll set it up. Let's go into range of our, there we go, right here. This is where if we set this up, then the bots will start delivering this to us. So we want to have like 200. Sure. Yeah, there we go. So if we're here, then the bots will be able to hear the request or, you know, start delivering things. Okay, there we go. Oh, Go here then. Okay, and those are going to connect there. Alright, and this is gone totally nuts over here. But I think we'll plan for four lanes because that seems reasonable. Okay, um, let's get that. Cross. Hooray. Nice. Just got to be careful not to get out of this area here. All right. Bots. Hello. I'm pretty sure we did have the um, nanobot stuff. Here, nanobots, where are you? I need more things. Give, 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 give. All right. They're taking away a lot of this stuff as well. But hopefully the bringers of stuff will be bringing things. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There's the capsules. I could have just walked right up there. Oh, well. Sometimes things are fast. Sometimes things are slow. <laughs> so we'll just keep walking. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the bots go. Hooray. All right. Just take all of it. That's fine. There we go. Nice. All right. No. Don't. Don't do this. No. I want to say, like, say have 400 and that's okay. And you can control click things back and forth if you want to. All right, here we go. Now that we need to have our nice new thingy majingy. Oh my god, come on. Okay, good. So that's going to be over there. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking rail here. Let's get our uh, building thing over here as well. Because we want this to be able to grab stuff from the uh, the world there. Oopsies. Roboport ghost in the way. 
that goes there and we're gonna need another power line through here okay nice so that one should be able to be placed all right and while that's getting sorted let's go ahead and do our rails so I think we want to just go as far as possible and then we decide to do our curve oh no 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 control Z to undo how about here you know what we need we need to do the first basic blueprint of our new rails quick look which is going to be the curve this curve the 90 degree curve is a lovely thing we'll get this curve like this call it 90 degree curve all right and then boom we're done create blueprint put it in my rails quick book uh, because this is the hardest shape to make. It's very annoying. All right, delete this and delete this. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and... Um, actually, we can grab the book and then just scroll through it. And then figure out where we want stuff to go. Okay, so this seems better. We do not want to destroy all those cliffs there. That's not my, my object. Okay, so this is going to be the out out system of this train yard here uh, let's see if i can just something here Oopsies. there please good good yes all right no no good there we go okay and then the the trains are going to come in here i feel like let's see what do we need here we need copper and we need uh iron copper can come maybe to the left and then iron here ish it's ironic now that I'm standing on copper. I'm sure I'm going to get comments, but um, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to do this. Now, when we add this curve, we need to make sure it's okay with the other curve. And I think it'll be right there. This is where we want this. Nanobots. Okay, nanobots are helping me now. Let's get that going. And the other important thing is that we'll be, we'll be able to get... Um, belts of material out of here. So I think what I want to do is remove these trees here. Now this is going to be, I think we're going to do a simple train station unloading on one side with four belts out. That's what we're going to aim for with this train station. Um, now one cool thing that you can do in the settings is set how long you want your train stations. And normally I do five because I um, we have one locomotive and four cars for most trains. I did six here because of building train is longer, but let's just do a five train visualization length. And what that means is when you place down a station or attempt to do so, or signals, it shows you how many cars are, um, are behind it. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is too short, but let's go and just take it a little bit longer. And if you mouse over it, you see that the ending point of this is right here. Yeah. And if you get your power poles out, it will also show you. So building a train station, we're going to have um, inserters uh, taking stuff out of the train. So we need to build power poles. The best place to place them is between cars. This whole thing represents a train and um, cars behind it. Looks like I didn't grab any cars, I think. So we can make some or we can request some. Actually, let's request some. All right, let's request. I want to have, um, I think, four cars ought to do it. We can get, f let's do four. Request four. Five is okay. Sure, go. So we want to make sure we're standing in this logistics network. Let's go and put another RoboPort right here for now. And just... Um, it's like when you're doing this, it's kind of like you're dancing within this, this RoboPort network thing. Yeah. All right. So this train is going to transport probably copper for us. We're going to get the cars soon. But when we get stuff, we probably are going to want to get... Let's actually request those. We need to get... 
some other inserters. The stack filter inserters. Yeah, we'll get 50. Sure. Let's just have 50 on us. Yeah. The other thing I like to do is have a combinator here. And that may seem like a strange thing to have, but they're good. We're going to do a tiny bit of circuit magic here. All right, we're going to build a few of those. Nice. Oh, bots are coming. Now, this is very long distance bot delivery. This is not ideal, but I don't want to have to walk up there because, yeah, things, stuff. Mm, while we're waiting for them to deliver our inserters, we're going to have one space for the inserter, and then we're going to have one row of chests. Now, I like to do one belt per wagon. So that means we're going to have the inserters here, and then we're going to have our other inserters here. Now, are we, do we have our combinators? Do we have our, our white inserters? Hello? Here, I'll put them here so we can see when we get them. All right. Um, we want to have a filter from the cars just to make sure our main base does not get contaminated. We're using uh, stack inserters because they transfer a huge amount of stuff at a time. So hand stack size is one plus four. That means it can transfer five items with every swing uh, as opposed to these guys, which are, let's see, does it tell us? No, it doesn't tell us. If we put one down, it might. Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Uh, it should be in our bonuses, wherever that is. Hello. Blueprint, production, bonuses. Yeah, I wish they would change this. I, I wrote a post on the forums about these icons because they are stylized, but to the point of unreadability at the moment. So anyway, uh, second sort of capacity is five. Regular sort of capacity is two. So these guys, these two are going to unload those trains really, really fast. All right, we did get our stack filter inserters. This is great. What we're gonna do here is a tiny bit of fun and entertainment and delight. Here we go. Let's put this power pole there so that it stops the blinking. Um, we're gonna put our combinator, which is a constant combinator, wherever it went, there it is. We're gonna put this right over here, okay? This constant combinator outputs a signal. Now we're gonna connect this to all these uh, inserters, all these white ones. On the white ones, we're gonna choose a thing saying set filters, okay? And we're gonna copy that and paste it to all the rest of them. And then here, we're gonna say, aha, we want you to only output copper ore. Yeah, and voila, all of them are copper ore now. So we're going to copy uh, this setup in just a second. Now the output we want to have going on a belt. Now to fill a blue belt, you need two and a half inserters. This is a yellow belt, I understand. But um, to fill the blue belt, you need two and a half. And so we're just going to plan for the time when we have blue belts. Uh, whenever you have this guy going in this direction, it puts on the right hand side. So we're going to have three on one side and then uh, three on the other. So this is actually equal on both sides belt. So now we can copy this and then place it between each of um, these little guys over here. Okay. And you'll notice the filters have cleared. They're sort of there and then they clear. And that's because they're not hooked up with red wire. So let's go ahead and hook this one to this one. And this one to this one. And that to there. Okay, nice. All right. And now comes the fun bit where we can um, move all this ore. So I think we'll have our belts. Uh, we can have one going here and then here, here, and there. Okay, nice. All right. Nope, nope, no, no, bad, bad thing. Behave yourself, please. Okay, so now we have four belts for. Uh, all right, we want to get through here. So this is an example of our train station. We need iron much more quickly than we need copper. So we're going to build the iron one next. Now, at the end of this, we want to put some signals so we 
close off the blocks of this train station. So in the front and in the back of the station, we want to close off that one block. And that will allow us to uh, change up the rest of this. Now, for now, we just want to copy this entire train station. Uh, oh, trees. Too many trees. Go away. Go away, trees. Scary. Okay. Let's see. I want to put another signal here. And that that's going to take it out, which is nice. So let's copy this whole thing. I'm going to copy this whole bit. I'm going to shift copy so we get rid of that robo port and that power pole. So uh, what you can do is create a blueprint of this and put this in your station. So we're just going to do, let's see, um, let's see, 4x belts. Uh, one side, one side, unloading. And when I do this kind of a thing, what I do is I'll do, I don't know, you can put a four here and then you can put a um, U for unloading. And that way, when you go into your uh, blueprint book for this, it's a lot easier to find out like, okay, I want to do eight belts unloading or I want to do four loading for the mine. And uh, that's how you, you would start off doing that. So we'll put this down here. We'll probably start our own new little um, blueprint book for this. Um, but we have this, which is nice. So let's go and borrow that from our blueprint library since we just put it in there. And put down a second one. Because, hey, guess what? We have, uh, we need iron too. So where is this aligned? Those are over there. We could actually move this all the way over so this aligns. Or we could just move it this way and then have it turn a tiny bit. Let's see. This actually. All right. These don't exactly line up. So we'll just do it this way. Uh, move down. I should have done this in map mode. See how silly this is that I didn't. All right. We're just traipsing along too much. But we have plenty of room in between. And in a very crowded uh, setup, you might want to put them really close together. But at the moment, we don't need that because our factory is built kind of uh, in, a, in an interesting way. Now, this one is going to be for iron, despite it being on top of copper patch. So what we need to do is change the combinator signal. And there we go. This will only unload iron. So life is good over here. Let's put a power pole there. And so now we have the ability to just bring these belts along and then go across the tracks. Hooray. Is that two? No, it's wrong. There we go. Okay, so this is how to get stuff in. And I think we may have to stop here for this episode because there's a lot more to do in this train station. And um, yeah, we don't have enough time. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it uh, fairly interesting and look forward to the rest of it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.